Hi guys, welcome back to AlgoTest. In this video, we're going to explain a new feature that enables you to assess your backtest results not just on the basis of days of the week, but also on the basis of how many days before expiry you want to trade the particular strategy. So let's get straight into it. We're going to first head on to our Google Sheet. So first and foremost, DTE stands for days to expiry. The way we've implemented this is we've given, we've given each day a certain number representation. So let's understand this. In the backtested results, you'll see that you can choose a particular number in order to make use of this feature. So here's how that works. Zero stands for expiry day. One stands for one day before expiry. Two stands for two days before expiry. 3 stands for 3 days before expiry, 4 stands for 4 days before expiry, and 5 stands for 5 days before expiry, as well as 6 stands for 6 days before expiry. Let's understand this better with the help of an example. So in our first example, let's say it's a regular week, wherein our expiry is, let's say, a Thursday. In that case, 0 is going to represent Thursday. 0 will be expiry day. 1 will be Wednesday, 2 will be Tuesday, 3 Monday, and so on and so forth. Pretty simple. Now, as we know, if expiry day is a holiday and the market is closed, it gets shifted to one day before. So let's say from our first example, Thursday was a market holiday. Therefore, now zero stands for Wednesday, one stands for Tuesday, two stands for Monday, three stands for Sunday, four Saturday, five Friday, and six Thursday, which we won't consider, obviously, because that was the previous contract. Now, you guys might have a question saying, why is Saturday and Sunday included? That's because we've implemented not trading days of the week, but instead calendar days of the week, just to avoid any confusion. Now, let's check this out on AlgoTest. I'm on the dashboard right now on the landing page. I'm going to click on go to dashboard. We're just going to select any random strategy and hit back test. So the back test is complete. Let's scroll down. You can see it here. You can see here it says calendar days to expiry. So you have to enable this and then click on equals to. So let's say if I want to assess results only for expiry day. In that case, I'll check this box and put it equals to zero. So these will be the results only for expiry day. So if you take our example number one and a regular week where the expiry is Thursday, this would be Thursdays. Now, similarly, if I want to trade this one day before expiry, all you have to do is click on equals to one. And this applies for all the other numbers. One other question you may have is why do you even need this feature? Well, if say for instance, the regulators or the NSE or the BSC decide to change the expiry date of a particular index that you trade, this is a very useful feature to now backtest on the basis of one day before expiry or whatever days before expiry instead of just days of the week. However, that being said, if you so wish, you can still use our normal Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday feature as has always been the case. So there is no change in there. It's totally up to you how you would like to backtest your strategy. So thanks for watching this video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope this feature is useful for you. See you in the next one.